And we're gonna start taking apart the top part here. So what I have to do to get this apart is I got to take off the chain tensioner, take all the tension off the chain. Um, then I'll have to be taking off the cams here, the can um, holders here they have. So I gotta take these two bolts off, these two, these two, and these two. Um, then the whole cam and this gear should come right up, come right off, and that should be good to go there. Then after I get the cams off, then I'll be able, I'll be able to take off that this uh, I believe is an oil feed line. I'll take that off, and I'll be able to get these main the main bolts off here. All right, guys. So what I'm doing right here, I'm I'm just marking the cam chain just so I know somewhat where the chain goes back onto. This just makes it a little easier for. When you put it back together, you make sure it's in time right. All right, so I got my marks. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take off everything up here now and remove this whole part right here. Uh-oh. All right, guys. All right, guys, so we got the head off. The piston looks actually really good. Like, this honestly looks like a perfect piston. So, I don't know. I to... All right, so before I get into... um, So, the piston looks good. I gotta check... I'll check the rings when I get to it. Um, One of the other things I realized when I was taking this apart um, off camera after I was looking at the engine, looking at it more, was that the intake valves were leaking air, like on the on when it sucks in? I mean, uh, on the compression stroke. So there was a leak. There was an intake leak on the valves. So I don't know if the intake valves were just dirty or I'm not sure yet. I'm we're going to investigate this a lot more. So we'll get into that probably next episode. But right now all I gotta do is just take off these two, uh, these two guys here, and then this the rest of this pops right off here. All right, guys. So where we're at now is we got the cylinder head off, and now we're showing the piston. The piston looks really good, actually. It's not dirty at all. There was some dirt on it, but that's because it felt between the spark plug hole. So not a big deal there. I clean that off really easy. Um, so looking at everything, everything looks really clean. Like there's no gashes on here, here. There's no gashes anywhere. Um, the the the. We call it. the cams look perfectly fine. The caps look fine. Um, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna make a note of this. Um, so when I was first taking this all apart, when I first did everything, um, when I brought it down in the basement, I was just checking over it off camera. One thing I realized was on when I was when I was playing around with this, when I was turning it on the compression stroke, on the compression stroke, I heard a sizzle sound like, and um. What it turned out to be was that the intake valves were leaking. It was pushing the air through the intake valves. So I could that could have been some noise. Um, that that was so that's not that's not a good thing. Um, we gotta look more into it. We'll just take we'll just turn it over real quick. Look at the intake valves. They look pretty. Eh, they look pretty crummy. So I don't know. We'll look. They look like they're. Just carbon built up onto it, or I don't know yet. So we'll check that out more. So most likely we're gonna be taking apart the whole, um, taking the valves out, reseating them, and everything. For this guy here, all we have to do now is just hold this chain basically like this, and just let her sit down like that. 
and just pick this guy up and I believe it just comes right up. Yeah, the pitching feels really good in there. I think I have to take that first. Oh. Right, so we got the piston out. Here's our here's our uh, guy here. Let me look at the walls. So as you can tell from right here. So this quad has been ran for probably about many years. I believe the guy had never really used the quad before I, I bought it and before my, my neighbor bought it. The piston was stopped right here. So when this thing has ran for whatever how long it ran, has it ran for, the piston was stuck right here. Not stuck, but it was just sitting right here. And all the, for all the time that it's... Sorry guys, the GoPro shot off on me there. Um, but what I realized, the, I believe the piston was stuck right here and that's why it stained into the wall which you can feel a difference in the wall. Like it gets smooth and then rough right here. So that may possibly what the smoke was, maybe when it got up to right here, I'm not saying what it is because it's probably un very unlikely because it's not that big of a spot. When it gets to here, the piston rings get, uh, start getting a little dragged and they start, um, the oil starts being to uh, come through, through the gaps. The rings on the, on the piston itself looks good. So, they're not like they're getting ruined or anything. But, other than that, there is a spot right here, which that's not a big deal either. But, I don't have anything measured the walls or anything, so I can't say that. I can't say I can do that way. But, I don't know. We'll see what this go um we might not have to replace the sleeve, honestly. The sleeve, we might be able to just bore out, which like I said, I'm going to give it to the machine shop, and they're going to do that for me, so. Yeah, see what happens. All right, so we're going to take the piston out now. now That's going to be the fun part. These are always fun to sit here and fuss around with. Oh, boy. I promise I'm going to get shot in the eyeball. Oh, God. Oh, I thought I dropped that in the engine. That would have sucked. Oh, God. Huh? I got it back. It's more than what usually happens. All right, buddy, slide on out. All right, I caught that one without a problem. So I'm gonna try to slide out this way now, see if it comes out easier. No, it comes out actually harsher. Hmm. Well, here's our little piston here. So judging by the rings here, I don't see anything wrong with them. They look actually perfect. No nail grabbing uh, wear and tears on here either. That's just for my finger. Yeah, I don't, to be honest, I don't know why it was possibly burning oil. Possibly, you know what, the white smoke. So the piston looks actually in really good shape, so I can't say much about this. Um, Good thing is, at least looking at this engine now, I feel a lot comfortable um, definitely um, turbocharging it because it looks actually really healthy in there. Even inside the, going inside there, looking at the gears, they look really good actually. So we'll just, we'll probably open up this side of the case. I'm probably gonna get an engine stand made for like this motor so that I can actually, you know, get into the whole thing, so. But for right now, we got the piston out here. We got the clutches out. We got the piston out. Everything here looks actually really good, which like I said, I thought I was gonna open this up and this is gonna be all black complete, completely. The rings were gonna be maybe all burnt up or something like, you know, not looking good at least. The only problem I see here is the, is the valves and so far, so if that was the only problem with the whole thing and honestly, the valves, that could have been where the oil was burning coming from, so. We'll look more into that. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video off here. So what we've done so far, um, we got the cylinder head off, we got the cylinder bolt walls out, um, got the clutches off, we got the piston off. So next video, what we're probably gonna be doing is taking off the back cover, um, 
Also, we're going to be checking the fitment of the piston into the cylinder wall. And we're, I'm going to try to figure out an uh, engine shop that can take this and bore this out a little bit for me. So, other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like down below, comment down below what you guys think. And also, guys, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.